everybody, it is Doug and Tampa. And we are in the city of Helen, Georgia, which is this little Bavarian like town in the middle of freaking Georgia. And what we're doing is, of course, celebrating Oktoberfest, but we're also celebrating the Omega SMP Diver 300. Details, details, details. I don't know if I have ever seen a straight up sport watch with so many design cues, so many details as this. And you may expect it in a dress watch or something that has complications to it. But like I said, just in a straight up uh, dive watch, you know, or sport watch, this thing is amazing. I, I have to give kudos to the designers. And it's also amazing thinking that this watch originally came out in 2018 and here it is 2023 and it, it still kind of blows my mind. So obviously uh, looking at this, I, well, number one, I am a huge fan of, of uh, ceramic and I am absolutely blown away that they have ceramic on the dial. I think that is spectacular. Uh, I love that they have the laser engraved uh, wave pattern which then that is actually carried over, and this is one of the details, into the back of the rubber strap. You'll see the wave pattern there. So uh, really, really great attention to detail there. Uh, of course, it does have its uh, classic, and I guess you would now say iconic, uh, uh, I guess you'd almost like the um, oyster style bezel. And uh, with all of those facets, and you can see how it catches the light, but I love how the designers continued that through once again on the back with that uh, oyster styled uh, edge that goes around the display back. And of course, while we're talking about the display back, how many dive watches have something like this uh, that looks like this? I mean, I've seen the Tudor uh, stainless steel, you know, the 925, <laughs> that, that movement looks like it's so pedestrian. It, it, I mean. This thing is almost like a work of art, and even though it is machine finished, it is finished, and it is a thing of beauty. Uh, the bezels, or I'm sorry, the crowns, both the helium escape valve and the normal crown, you know, as you really look at them, the grooves or the cutouts on them are so deep, and those facets really catch the light. Uh, something that I really, really like on this uh, another thing, thinking of the crown that's on the, the main crown, uh, I'm kind of lucky. I, my Omega seems to line up almost perfectly. And I don't know if that's true of all of these or if I was just lucky in getting a lucky uh, Omega, but uh, very, very cool. Uh, and once again, when you look at these facets, uh, I mean, you know, it's almost like a three-piece case. Uh, you've got the bezel area, you've got uh, the main case here, which I love the brushing and also the uh, the polished little parts that are throughout. And and thinking of these lugs here, which, you know, they're the twisted lugs and they have the polish on them. Once again, another thing of detail and uh, that I absolutely appreciate. It's mimicked also right here on the, uh, the, the clasp. And, uh, and you've got a series of both polished and kind of brushed or bead brushed uh, you know, parts on it. I mean, how much attention to detail just on that, uh, that pin buckle. And then both of these, uh, you know, having the Seamaster and then Omega. Now this Omega one, if you push it, see how it, it does not conform at all. Uh, that is actually a titanium piece that's wrapped in rubber. Now this one is squishy. But uh, something special about it, when you look at it from the underside, you see how there's a little nib? And then that actually holds down, it, that goes in here, this last little triangle, to keep it nice and flat. Uh, another nice thing about this uh, rubber strap, these two almost brushed 
uh, lines that go down are of course in keeping with the bond bracelet because they have those two almost like railroad tracks going down uh, but once again the attention to detail is absolutely spectacular here we are Beautiful man. And the SMB. So here's a wrist shot, but I like to do them from a little bit of a distance because I think that actually gives you a better feel for how the watch sits on a wrist. And for reference, my wrist is 7.25 inches or 184 millimeters. Uh, the watch itself, of course, is a 42 millimeter dial. Uh, the lug to lug is 49.9 it sits 13.6 millimeters tall which is a bit chunkier than what i am used to with my rolexes uh, like my sub and so on but i like that on this it's it's a bit more masculine and uh, once again more of a sport a true sport watch so i i like it being a little bit larger uh you know, to be quite honest tick, 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 tock, goes my heart with the clock. don't they know i am In a previous video, I asked whether I should get the black or the green SMP. So why did I choose black? So my sub already has a green bezel and this I wanted to be more understated. So I really wanted it to be black. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted the black uh, rubber strap instead of the bracelet. And the reason for that is, once again, it's more understated. But my, I had the blue version of this with the bracelet. And while I really like the look of the bracelet itself, one of the problems to me, uh, and it may not be for you, was just the bracelet was still a little too chunky and heavy. And, uh, and if I end up doing a bracelet, I think I may buy their new mesh stainless steel bracelet for this. But uh, right now I'm very content with it being on the black rubber strap. And here, let me bring this into the sunlight for you so you can see it in all sorts of light. But um, like I said, I, I don't know if I will ever change this because I do have you know, my other watches that have bracelets and may not really be necessary. It's like when I need a bracelet, I'll grab a bracelet watch. But once again, the, uh, the purpose of this is really to be more understated. So how is it that this is a watch with a purpose? Well, in today's environment, when you're wearing something a little bit more conspicuous, like a Rolex or, or even a Cartier, you, know, you might be painting yourself as a target. So this watch is an opportunity for me to have an incredible, beautiful, and in my opinion, amazing Swiss timepiece that I don't have to worry about so much when I'm either traveling or in a, you know, going someplace where I may not want to be wearing such a conspicuous watch. Next is a feature that uh, I have been adding to my videos more recently. Uh, it is my steering wheel video picks. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.